Warren Buffett, one of the most famous investors of our time, he adheres to a concept that I'll call the 25-5 rule. And uh, this story comes from a man named Mike Flint, who was Warren Buffett's private pilot. Mike Flint has flown multiple U.S. presidents. He's also the pilot for Warren Buffett. So he's had a very successful career. And he came to Warren Buffett one day and he said, Warren, I would like to fly this particular type of plane. I think whenever we upgrade, we should get this new one. And he said, Mike, you know, if you're working for me in 10 years when we buy a new plane, then I probably have failed you as a boss. So here's what I'd like you to do. And this exercise that I'm about to share, you can do on any level. You can do it for your career. You can do it for the things that you or your team need to get done this month. You can do it for the things that you need to work on today or this week. And he said, I'd like you to take the 25 things that you want to achieve in your career and write them down in a list. So Mike Flint goes away, writes down his 25 things. He gets done and he says, all right, great. I want you to circle the top five things on that list. So he spends some more time. He circles the top five priorities. He says, all right, tell me what your strategy is at this point. And Mike Flint said, well, I have my top five things, so I'm going to work on those first. And he said, great. What about the other things on your list? Uh, he said, well, those will be the things that I do on nights or weekends or when I get tired or bored or, you know, a project stalls, I'll work on that. And Warren Buffett said, Mike, you got it all wrong. The things that you've circled are your priorities. The other items on your list, number six through 25, this is your never do under any circumstance list. And the reason is because it's so easy for us to rationalize spending time on things that are good uses of time, but not great uses of time. It's items that are six through 25 on your list that take up time and space and energy because we can justify why we need to do them. They're on the list for a reason. They just don't happen to be the best uses of our time.